morning. It's a bit frosty this morning. So today is the day, well, it's the second day actually, that we're gonna go out and continue spraying broadleafs out of the wheat and barley. It's sort of dried up enough now that we can get out on the paddock. So it was, uh, well, there was a few soft spots yesterday, but we got a lot of ground to cover. So we're gonna get real busy doing that today and see how far we can get with it. Have a big push today. Things didn't really go as smoothly yesterday as I would have liked so anyway I'm just going to check some chemicals over here make sure I got enough of what I need and then I got to go in and pick up some stuff from elders uh, connect up to the trailer we'll go pick that up and uh, yeah we'll get hooked into it got to transfer a little bit of water so we got enough oh sun in your eyes so we've got enough water to get through the day. Radio. I've got water transferring. I got the mixing station full of water. I just thought I'd do that now while I was there. Now, I've got to connect to the trailer, I've got to go into town, I'm going to pick up a shuttle of UAN, which is Urea Ammonium Nitrate. So, it's basically a liquid foliar fertiliser. And what I'm going to use that for, if you watched my last video, out the back of the house here, there's 100 acres or so of barley that has been inundated with mustard weed. Um, it's, it's gotten away a little bit from us because we haven't been able to get out in the paddock, it's been a bit wet. Now, mustard is a brassica, which means that it also likes to feed on nitrogen, so it's been giving the barley a bit of a hard time, so we're gonna give this a bit of a trial. See if we can uh, turn its fortunes around and give it a bit of a boost, uh, try and get it moving along again. I just got the feeling that mustard's put quite a heavy load on that crop, uh, quite a heavy burden, so we wanna, we're gonna give it a trial, basically. We haven't really used it too often, so we're gonna, uh, when I mix up to spray the um, broadleafs out of there or the uh, mustard, we're going to put some uh, UAN in there, which is basically liquid urea, and give it a bit of a hit. It is an absolutely beautiful morning out here. A uh, little bit chilly, but sun's out. It's going to warm up quick. And also, there's no wind, which is a bonus. That's what we want for spraying. UAN acquired. Now that's good, that'll be there for me uh, tomorrow when I want to use it. You see that feeder house sitting there on the ground? Well, I reckon I started that job about three weeks ago and just other things have been getting in the way it's going to be another week now we've got i think we got a whole week of shearing coming up next week we've got lamb marking that needs done and that's why when you get the opportunity to start something you just got to get into it because you never know when you're going to get back to it <laughs> i was hoping to have that done by now but anyway Let's get moving. We are up and running. So I'm hoping today I can cover a bit more ground than yesterday. And yesterday wasn't a bad day. I, got, I still did 100 hectares or about 250 acres, but I ended up having a bit of trouble with nozzles blocking up and I ended up coming back to the house yard and changing over the inline filters to a bit um, finer filter to try and stop that from happening. So I'm hoping that 
it's smooth sailing today and we can just rip through it because um, yeah we got plenty to do plenty to do first job of the day is done on to the next one i wish i could say that i'd achieved a large amount of acres but i have not that was only 21 hectares so just a squidgy little paddock but oh you guys probably can't see out there but the the beans are looking quite nice i don't think they're going to be a very tall crop again this year because well they didn't get in and get going until late but still going to do a crop inspection at some point and update everyone it's on the to-do list there's plenty on the to-do list though that's the problem <laughs> Damn gates. I had a joke with the old man the other day. I said, because I do all the cropping side of things, he does the sheep. I said, I go around and open up all the gates and move the machinery through and then dad has to come back and close them. I am a little bit nervous uh, in here. Oh man, there's a kangaroo coming. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh 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 I was a bit oh I was I, I, I... <laughs> oh I'm nervous about getting bogged in here because it seems to be a bit soft and then the kangaroo comes flying at me and I'm like hit the button hit the button go up <laughs> I think he was about as nervous as me then deary me I am panic it's panic stations here I maybe should have left this pad for another day there's just water seeping out of the hills back here. There's some real tacky spots. I can't tell you how many times I've felt like I'm going down and I just, I just pull out. But, oh, I hope I don't get stuck in here. I really don't want to. Have a look at that big juicy blowy. Came in to join me. Of course, you open the door for two seconds and you get one of those big stinking things in here. I don't even know where they come from. Like, it's been, 14 degrees outside lately during the day, but yeah Big blowies here <laughs> All done another one done Boy oh boy Am I glad that that is done that was that was iffy at, at best in some of those spots out there Right we'll head back fill up Another load of grain going out That's another refill done. Let's keep moving. Well, I didn't bother filming too much in there because that little piece on the top of the creek here is only about 14 hectares and yeah, it takes longer to go around and do your outside laps than it does to spray the middle. But anyway, going to go down onto the flat now. I've got a nozzle body that seems to just be dripping a little bit of liquid off it all the time. So I think I'm going to change that before it um, becomes more of a problem. It looks like my lunch has arrived. She was on the verge of waking up and then she sort of went like this and then she saw the sprayer and she was like... Are you awake? So you guys aren't coming for a ride? You don't have to, I don't care. Do you want to go for a ride, Buck? You kind of get stuck with me for the whole paddock mm. if you come. Yeah, maybe tomorrow morning when I'm out the back of the house. That'll be easier. This guy here is the culprit, and I tell you, I changed the nozzle two or three times and it just kept doing it. So, you know what? Time for a new one. Doesn't even look that old, so I don't really know why it's leaking, but anyway. Let some pressure out of it. Right, 
Alrighty-o, we're looking a million dollars now. I got some lunch there which I want to eat but I also want to keep moving so I might get my outside laps done and then eat when I'm just cruising. Well, I'm going to eat my lunch. You guys can go and wait outside or something. <laughs> Alrighty-o, that's better. I feel like myself again now. I've had something to eat, but not much to go in here now. And then we'll see if we can try and knock off another 100 acres after this. The thing is, I never like over-promising to myself because I always find that, you know, you, you say, I can get this much done in a, in a day and then everything that can go wrong will go wrong. <laughs> I was really worried I wasn't going to finish then, but looks like I've still got... Ah, uh, maybe one or two hundred litres left. Mmm, oh. feels good to stretch the legs. Right, I got a whole ass, basically, if I want to try and get this done. Last tank full for the day, let's do it! Round and round, the merry-go-round we go. Fill up, spray out, empty out, refill. Do it all over again. So I thought I would just mention, which I didn't earlier on, is uh, with a grass crop like wheat or barley or oats, you can come in and you can spray broadleaf plants out of it. Um, you can spray your beans out, your volunteer beans, your volunteer vetch, volunteer canola, all those sorts of things that you can spray out, um, including your broadleaf weeds as well. Like the one we're really targeting here is mustard, but um, you know, if these broadleaf weeds were in a broadleaf crop like beans or something, there's nothing that you can do about them. So the idea is to get the paddocks nice and clean while you got your wheat and barley growing, so then when you come back and grow your broadleaf crop, um, you're not dealing with uh, the, that weed burden, if you, if you know what I mean. So I just thought I'd mention that anyway, because if you're not a farmer, you don't really know these things. So I always like to try and talk to the non-farmers as well. <laughs> Well, there you have it guys, that's been a day of spraying broadleafs out of barley. I'm going to leave this video here, might leave you guys on some drone footage, which I'll take in the morning. But uh, thank you very much for joining me, I hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy and have a good one. Yeah.